All right. Um, well, at least, you know, by now we've gotten our hands dirty with a lot of these uh, questions. So our next big one here is calculate the exact reflection and transmission coefficients without assuming that uh, mu1 equal mu2 equal mu0. And we need to confirm that R plus T equals 1. Okay, so reflection plus transmission equals 1. All right, well, what we need to know is that our boundary conditions for these relations, um, where, again, we have the E uh, tilde notation, so the amplitude, complex amplitude of the reflection is equal to the complex amplitude of some coefficient times the incident amplitude, and in this case, it's 1 minus beta over 1 plus beta, similarly to what we found way back in the uh, first part of the chapter. Um, and then we have where, with the K minus, K1 minus K2 over K1 plus K2, that kind of thing. And then we have the 2 over 1 plus beta for the transmission, again, in the tilde notation. Um, here, beta is equal to mu1, uh, V1 over mu2, V2. Again, all dissected in the book. And so if we want the reflected and transmission co reflection and transmission coefficients, we need the ratio of their intensities, which a la is the real parts uh, squared, the ratio of the real parts of the amplitude squared. So E not R and then E not I squared. Same thing for the transmission, except now we have epsilon, uh, epsilon 2 V2, epsilon 1 V1 uh, multiplied by the um, e not t over e one or e not i squared. Uh, again, since the reflection is dealing in the same medium, transmission is dealing in two different mediums. That's why we have two different dielectric constants. Um, okay, let's go ahead and dive on in. Then, uh, pretty quick in my opinion. What we see here is that we have reflection is equal to the e not r term. So if we plug that in. We see that it is 1 minus beta over 1 plus beta with the E tilde notation. Since we're squaring it, the complex parts go away, and we'll just cancel that. But we want to put the coefficient, the 1 minus beta, 1 plus beta, together. And we see that here. So the reflection is actually 1 minus beta over 1 plus beta squared. All right, and the transmission coefficient... Doing the same thing, we see that the incident uh, amplitudes cancel, um, and so we're left with epsilon 2 V2 over epsilon 1 V1, and what we're going to do here is multiply by 1, shown in red, via mu1 mu2 over mu1 mu2. The reason why we do this is to cancel out a couple of things. And here, what we're trying to do is show here that uh, by rearranging, we get mu1 mu2 uh, epsilon 2, which will go to 1 over V squared, uh, which we see in the next step. I color coordinate, color coordinate it for the blues, and we see that mu1 epsilon 1 uh, will go to 1 over V1 squared, which I co uh, color coordinated in purple, and we see that those cancel. And so after the cancellations, and we divide, when you're dividing by fractions, same as multiplying by reciprocal, simplify it down. You get mu1 v1 over mu2 v2 in the uh, as a coefficient to the 2 over 1 plus beta squared, which again that it was defined as beta. Okay, so if we want to confirm uh, energy conservation, which is r plus t equal 1, what we need to do is square everything and multiply through, find a common denominator, and simplify. All right, so reflection was 1 minus beta. If we square the numerator and square the denominator, and then we have uh, the transmission, which with the beta and the numerator come from the beta factor up front. Square the numerator, you get uh, 2 squared, which is 4, and uh, then we have 1 plus beta squared. Thankfully, this denominator is the same for both, and we simply add a cross. So that's 1 minus beta squared plus 4 beta. Here, if we uh, factor out the 1 minus beta squared, we get 1 minus 2 beta plus beta squared plus 4 beta. The negative 2 beta cancels with the 4 beta, leaving us with a factor of 2 beta left over. And we can uh, refactor that down into 1 plus beta squared. And you notice that it's the same thing uh, in the numerator and denominator. So they cancel the 1, and we are good to go. Good to see. Energy is conserved.